Cannabis hospitality laws in Colorado could open the door for entrepreneurship for a lot of people. Many times, would-be business owners don't know where to start, and up until now, cannabis education has been difficult to access for people who are trying to get a foot in the door. Denver 7 reporter and attorney Jessica Crawford joins us tonight, and uh, you sat in on a cannabis class at MSU Denver. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I learned a lot there too, Shannon. So here in Denver, a person can legally run several different types of cannabis hospitality businesses. That includes places where people can bring their own weed to consume, also cannabis buses where people can consume in the vehicle. There are also marijuana hospitality and sales businesses where people can buy and consume on the premises. Well, as more potential business owners learn about how they can benefit from these laws, we could see more of these businesses in the future. When first-generation college student Bilen Garcia walks into this kitchen classroom, she's not just cooking with cannabis. We're gonna make some uh, chilaquiles sauce with butter. She's getting a taste for her future. The hospitality major had never imagined that cannabis could open a new world of possibilities after she graduates. It definitely brings a new opportunity for people that never thought about it. 500 milligrams of CBD. Shannon Donnelly, MSU professor and cannabis consultant, teaches cooking with cannabis. Students learn to infuse CBD into butter and other oils, then cook with it. Moving forward, this class will be part of two certificates MSU Denver will offer starting in the fall. So what are you doing here now? Uh, right now we just uh, infuse some coconut oil with two milligrams of um, isolate. They'll have an entry-level oh, cannabis hospitality and specialist and certificate and the more advanced cannabis hospitality and manager and certificate. So Colorado has really focused on two things, social equity and then the idea of creating licenses for cannabis consumption. Donnelly says cannabis hospitality laws and regulations in Colorado create big opportunities for entrepreneurs. Denver County is one of the only counties in the state that allows consumption buses or hospitality establishments like a spa or like a restaurant, right? What is one of the favorite things that you've made so far? I made a truffle pasta. And students get a chance to see how those laws could work for them. Donnelly introducing them to business owners, taking them on field trips, like to a cannabis consumption bus. And it's Latina owned and it's woman owned. And for me, that was like, yes, this is where I want to be. An opportunity for students like Belen. Definitely not a lot of women in the industry, especially women of color. To cook up ideas for their futures. And the state is trying to close the knowledge gap as well. It's launching a program called Access to Experts, pairing up experts with social equity cannabis business owners to guide them through the process at low or no cost. So to learn more about that program and the courses being offered at MSU, check out the story at Denver7.com. I'm Jessica Crawford, Denver 7. All right, Jessica, thank you very much for that. The 10th annual NOCO Hemp Expo is underway in Estes Park. The local leaders, agriculture experts, and nonprofits all meeting to talk about how to expand the hemp industry. And Governor Polis highlighted the use of hemp in Colorado products from things such as construction materials, animal feed. He also urged the federal government to regulate hemp products. In the ideal world, it's Congress's job, but again, let's not hold our breath for Congress. Let's move forward and keep the pressure on the FDA to do what they can. The expo continues tomorrow in Estes Park.